Hi guys! Jenny here and welcome back to my channel. Today we are making matcha cheesecake brownies. It is the same concept with the mocha cheesecake brownies I've made before. The bottom is a fudgy brownie and the top layer is matcha cheesecake with ripples of brownies on top so it looks good. So if you want to know how to make these, just stick around and I'll show you how it's done. Now let's start baking. The first thing we're gonna do is the brownie batter. So in a big bowl, just melt together your chocolate and butter. You can use a double boiler or a microwave to do this. Once they have melted together, add in your sugar and just whisk them together until they're nicely combined. Now that's looking good, we can now add in our vanilla extract and egg and just continue whisking. At this point, we can now add in our dry ingredients and that will be the flour and cocoa powder. And then just gently fold everything together until they're all well combined. And that's basically it for the brownie batter. Now take a smaller bowl and just set aside about a quarter cup of this batter. Not too much because that little amount would go on top of the cheesecake to make the marbling effect. Now let's set these bowls aside and take a new bowl for the cheesecake batter. First, beat your cream cheese until it's soft and creamy. This shouldn't take too long if your cream cheese is at room temperature. And then add in your sugar and just continue beating. Now that's looking good, we can now add in our matcha powder and just continue whisking. The amount of matcha depends on how strong you want your matcha flavor. I added 1 tablespoon here but it's up to you, you can add more if you want. Now that's looking nice and smooth, we can now add in our egg and a splash of vanilla extract. Just continue beating until they're all well combined. Make sure you scrape down the sides of the bowl to make your batter nice and smooth. And that's basically it for the cheesecake batter. Now we are ready to assemble the cheesecake. I have an 8x8 square inch tin that I've lined with parchment paper. First, pour in your brownie batter to make the base. Spread it using a spatula to make sure that the entire bottom is covered. And then gently spoon your cheesecake batter on top. I didn't want to pour it because I may not be able to cover the entire top if I do that. Plus, I don't want to disturb the brownie bottom so just take your time until the top is covered by the cheesecake batter. And then remember the little brownie batter that we left earlier? Just drop small dollops on top of the cheesecake batter. It doesn't have to be perfect because we'll be creating ripples on top of this cheesecake. I'm using a spatula and just running it across the brownie and the cheesecake so it makes the rippling pattern. You can use a knife or a skewer to do this. Now we need to bake this for about 25 to 30 minutes in a 350 degrees Fahrenheit preheated oven. And when it comes out of the oven, give it an hour to cool to room temperature and then pop it in the fridge for 4 hours to set. And that's it! That's my matcha cheesecake brownies! I hope you like this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!